There's already another ban list? What's up guys, you're back with the most anticipated ban list review of the season. I feel like we just had one of these. It was like a month ago that we just had one. So I don't know, we're back, ban list again. I know you guys are here for the most in-depth analysis on why every card is banned on this ban list. So I am not gonna disappoint you. Let's get into it. Let's see what's been banned, what's been limited, what's been unlimited, what's been unbanned, what's at one, two or three. Let's go, here we have, this is effective from December 1st. That's not yet, but it's in a couple days. So here we go. Let's see what's been changed. Saw a little spoiler on one of the big cards when I opened up Twitter. I may be on Twitter too much. Follow me at Ruxin34. Got a little spoiler and realized the ban this was out so let's go i just woke up by the way so forgive me first thing we have here is nothing we have nothing so far uh okay there we go we finally have something we have curious the light sworn dominion i believe curious the light sworn dominion i know a lot about this card it's now banned there we go let's go to the next card let's see what else we have uh there's verite it's still there okay no, no more verite unfortunately no more dragoon for me let's see what else we can find that has been changed so far this is it uh, are we going to get any other bands in the ban list? I think we are because I saw a spoiler. Here we go. Let's see what else we can get. Oh, we're getting to the spells. What could be on the spells? I don't know. There could be something there. What is it? Uh, a butterfly dagger elm, a card to save for turn. Look at all these old cards that are still on there. It's crazy. They've unbanned a lot of them, but some of them are still too good. Uh, chicken game or at least too annoying. Okay, we've got Cold Wave still there. Confiscation. Like, they're all old cards. Dimension Fusion. Look, these are all original cards. Okay. Uh, Heavy Storm, Graceful Chariot. These are literally all like original, like 11 set cards, which is insane. Met Mass Driver. I have never actually really paid attention to like looking and re reading these. Metamorphosis. I'm probably wrong. Let's keep going. Oh, and there it is. Mystic Mine. That is not an old card. That card came out, I believe, in Dark Neo Storm. So it's been about five, six years. People having to deal with people using Mystic Mine. I, okay, look, guys, I, I know it's a meme, but I do not play that much. But I have played against this card. It is miserable. And I see why people wanted it banned. I know Mystic Mine is not like topping like most. Like when there's the top 32, they don't have like 12 Mystic Mine decks. Usually like one or zero or something like that. And at Pasadena, it was all tier elements. There was like two other decks or something like that. There was, it wasn't even Mystic Mine, I don't think, being played uh, like in the top 32. But it's just so annoying and like toxic. People don't like it. They get so mad. Because like you play against Mystic Mine, you got your plan, you got all the stuff you're going to do. They just play Mystic Mine and you're just like... All right, and then you have to go to that King Scarlet song, just draw the out, and if you don't, you know, you lose. So it's never very fun to play against. So I think this is probably a good thing that they did this. I know everyone's gonna be rejoicing because some people actually do like Mystic Mind, but for the most part, I think it's just better for like the playing experience that this doesn't exist. So there it goes, Jesse Cotton, you were right. We should have been prepared for Mystic Mind. Let's keep going. Let's see if there's anything else because this was like the main reason. I saw the spoiler, I don't know anything else. Let's see what else there is in the uh, the epic ban list reaction that we have here. That's all the that's all the uh, ban cards. So we're on the limited. Let's see what else. See if anything got limited. Maybe something got unlimited from being banned. I don't know. All right, so far nothing. Here we go. Herald of Orange Light. I know this was a good card in the last format because everyone was playing uh, tier elements or whatever that deck's called. And uh, I know everyone was running like three of these. So they put it to one, I guess, to which is weird because wasn't this like an anti card? I feel like because this is like a tier zero format, you would want to like hurt that deck rather than hurt the stuff that counters the deck. I don't know. You know, I, I guess we'll find out. I, I feel like they probably hit tier elements a little bit, right? Because it is a tier zero format. Do we really want to have the same deck every single time on Twitter? Because I don't play that much on Twitter. I see people actually say hey i actually kind of like this format vop my friend who i went to pasadena with was talking the whole time he's like i actually kind of like this format i know it's like a kind of a controversial opinion some people said they liked it i don't know maybe maybe konami thought so let's see if they actually hit the deck let's keep going all right nothing else on limited let's see what we can find in limited is that it that's all the limited so so far what is that three cards curious i'm saying that curious is probably a main card in the deck but i don't know curious got hit then we've got herald lord orange light and the mystic mind that's all that has happened so far let's see we're going to semi-limited so not a lie we have uh recital starling was limited it's now semi-limited i know every time anybody talks about this they're like yeah this shouldn't exist there shouldn't be a a semi-limited list so there still is so sorry to tell you all right let's keep going we got the last thing oh okay here we go we got a teller knight card that was forbidden is now unlimited <laughs> what teller knight went this went from forbidden to unlimited so this card must be garbage because they didn't even like slowly roll it out they're just all right yeah i i know actually you know what i know this from it has an ultimate rare card so let's keep going dimensional fissure uh, this was limited. It's now no longer on the list. So this wasn't forbidden, but it was limited. So Dimensional Fissure. Yeah, I do know that card, actually. Don't know what it does, so let's keep going. Uh, then we got three more. Wow, three more cards. Macrocosmos. 
Macrocosmos is unlimited. I guess that... Okay. Now I see. Okay. Use Macrocosmos against the tier elements. They can't, you know, they can't mill their cards. They get banished. I see what you're doing there, Konami. All right. All right. Cool. Fire Formation 10 key. That was semi-limited. I didn't even realize that. And then Metaverse. Okay. Metaverse? I've seen this card, but I don't know what it does. So... I'm assuming that's some sort of other card that could be good against the deck. Potentially, it was limited. That's interesting seeing Macro Cosmos back at three. That's actually pretty cool because that's like a really good card. Um, also, probably going to be really annoying <laughs> for some things playing three Macro Cosmos. That is super interesting to see. I don't actually know the scope of how much this hurts the deck because obviously, never played the deck. But I know that Macro Cosmos is going to be interesting to play against it. But Mac Mystic Mine obviously is the big hit of this. My uned uneducated eye here. I thought there would be more things like actually hitting some of the tier elements cards. It seems like they didn't really other than this. This I'm assuming is a good link card in the deck. But if not, I don't, I don't know what the point of that was. So they hit this. Maybe that changes the deck completely. Missing Mind really has nothing to do with it. So I guess that that doesn't really matter at all. And then uh, and then Herald the Orange Light. That's like that's used against it. So I don't know. I, I, as Since you are here for the most educated of all the bandless reactions, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you now know more about Yu-Gi-Oh! from watching this, just like I do, because I'm excited about Mystic Mind. I'm glad that they banned it, even though here's the thing I don't love about Mystic Mind. The memes, no more memes. The Twitter memes were so good for Mystic Mind. I just love to see people so mad about Mystic Mind, so ready for it to get banned. Now it's banned and it's over. There's no more fun. You know, now we just have it banned. Now we don't even have to think about it. All these great cards that got banned, we don't make memes about them because they've been banned already. So. Ah, that's a little sad. I'm taking a little shot for that one, but that's okay. That's it for the most epic banless reaction of all time. Hope you enjoyed it, Joseph. I will see you guys in the next one. Shout out to Toe Info Show, Daxter, Tomato Juice, JT Cho, TCG Trusted Cards, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanda, Dizzy, Flexi Boy, Hoppus, Choice 333, Micycle, Melancholy, and then his high show, Christopher Ward, Ian Musa, John Nolan, Junior Barding, Mike Nance, Mimic Gecko, Stanley, and Thomas McLean. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.